Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a go fun and go back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to the person that suggested this, and a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do. Never goes unnoticed. I hope you guys are doing all right and may stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to advice on which Islamic books to study Shamsi. I haven't done a Shamsi video in a while. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. <laughs> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, the brother, Hafidullah Ta'ala, may Allah preserve him, asked good question. And these questions, many people, you know, I got WhatsApp messages asking me which book should I study or which book you recommend for beginners. The first book is the Quran, the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are able to get tafsir of the Quran by Ibn Kathir summarized or Shaykh Abdul Rahman al-Sa'di, then that's afdal. And this advice is the advice of Sheikh Ben Baz, Sheikh Uthaymin. I'm narrating it back to you. May Allah bless you all. So the Quran, that's the asal. All the, all the other books I'm going to mention is based upon the Quran and the Sunnah of the Nabi. So the Quran, likewise, the books of Hadith, like the 40 Hadith of Imam al Nawawi. And it would be good to get it with an explanation of Sheikh Salih Fawzan or Sheikh Uthaymin. Likewise, Riyad al-Salihin by Imam al-Nawawi, al-Nawawi rahimahu ta'ala. Also, it's good to get it with explanation of the ulama, Sheikh Ben Baz, okay? So this one, it comes to hadith, 40 hadiths, Riyad al-Salihin. As the ulama mentioned, this book should be in every person's house, Riyad al-Salihin, okay? Likewise, get a Sahih al-Bukhari, you know, summary, summarized, okay? Sahih Muslim. When it comes to Aqeedah, Tawheed, the book of Tawheed, Imam Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab, may Allah have mercy upon him. The book of Tawheed by Imam Muhammad Abdul Wahhab, Rahimah wa Ta'ala, will be good also to buy it with an explanation of the scholars. Naam, Sheikh Uthaymin, Sheikh Fawzan, Sheikh Sa'ad Sheikh, I don't know if it's been translated by this. Sheikh Fawzan, I know. Sheikh Uthaymin, likewise. Likewise, Thalat al-Usul, very important. The three fundamental principles, okay? Likewise, al-Qawaid al-Arba'a, the four fundamental concerning shirk. Small risala. Likewise, for Arabic language, then you have Medina Bukwan. Alhamdulillah, the brothers, our brother Abu Kanza, Jamal, Hafidhah wa Ta'ala is doing it, okay? Um, also, you get the Mumashdarat al Usul, Nullify of Islam. Nullify of Islam, also get it by the expression of the ulama. Because you don't want to go extreme, you start making takfir on everyone. Huh? Like this Khawarij do. You know, you, know, you have to understand it in a, in a correct way. Okay? When it comes to Allah's names and attributes, Allah's names and attributes, yeah? As now as Get the book by Imam Muhammad bin Salih Uthaymin, Rahimahu Ta'ala. My brothers, if you noticed, you know people say we are madakhila. You follow Sheikh Rabi Ahmed Khali. Blind. I haven't not even mentioned his name yet. I, I always mention who? Sheikh Fawzan, Sheikh Uthaymin. Yeah, so why don't you say we are blind followers of Sheikh Uthaymin? Just a side point, okay? So get the book of Sheikh Uthaymin, wrote a nice book called Al Qawaid Al Muthla. The principles concerning Allah's names and attributes. How to understand the Asma of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah's names and attributes. After that, you can read the Aqeed al Wasitiyah by Sheikh al Islam wal Muslimina ibn Taymiyyah. Aqeed al Wasitiyah. It's for beginners. Okay? When it comes to uh, fiqh, then get the book of Sheikh Salih al Fawzan, Al Mulakhas al Fiqhi. Al Mulakh has been translated, alhamdulillah. Al Mulakhas al Fiqhi. But to remind you again, the way you seek ilm, knowledge, the asal is to study under the scholars. If you're able to travel to the scholars, 
you see who the skull is, then that is the asal. If you are unable, because you have personal issues, then try to study under the students of knowledge, who are known by the scholars and study under the scholars. But you can read the books. Books, no problem. You can read, take benefits. If something unclear, you ask student of knowledge, or you can call a scholar. Do you understand? So these are the books I want to mention. Also, when it comes to manage, manage very important. People claim to be Salafi following the Salaf of Salih. Salaf is in Morocco and they are in China. Because why? China is far east, Morocco far west. That's how far from each other they are. It's not about claiming, it's about implementation. When it comes to manhaj, get usul al-sunnah, Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal al-Shaybani. The usul of Ahl al-sunnah. How many brothers and sisters ask me, Shamsi, you know, there's many Salafis. No, no, there's one Salafis group, there's not many. But because you haven't studied this Salafiyah correctly, that's why you get confused. That's why I advise my brothers and sisters. Sometimes they ask me about individuals like Muhammad Hijab or Ali Da'wa. Are they Salafi? If you study the books, you will never ask me this question. How someone says, the Aqid of Ash'ari, yes, they have a point as well. They, uh, wow, this is not the kalam of someone who followed the Salaf, the Salih. So read this book also, Sunnah Ahmed ibn Hanbal. But likewise, don't want to go extreme, like Haddadiyya. They boycott everyone. They make the of Nawawi ibn Hajar, no. Also, soon Ahmed ibn Hanbal tried to get an explanation of one of the scholars. Likewise, Aqidat uh, Imam Ibn Abi Zayd al-Qairawani has been translated. Likewise, Sharh al-Sunnah al-Imam al-Barbahari. These books, my brothers and sisters, are very important. And by reading them, you understand the usul of Ahl al-Sunnah wal jamaah And by Allah's permission, you'll be able to differentiate between who is really following the Salaf and who is claiming. So when you have this knowledge, knowledge is very important, wallahi. In the beginning, I was like everyone, subhanAllah, listening to this person, that person, because they are famous on YouTube, or they have videos. I remember when the brother started giving me da'wah about Salafiyyah, he's like, don't listen to this. I said, brother, it's too much. Everyone's mubtadi' to, to you? That's what I said. Why is not everyone's mubtadi'? The brother never said everyone's mubtadi'. Because I've been listening to the people who are misguided, so I thought everyone is them. No. Well, he said, okay, okay, here, read. Buy this book, that book. When I read, many people that I was listening to, I left them. Because, you know, إِنَّ هَذَا الْعِلْمَ دِينَ فَلْيَنْدُرْ أَحَدُكُمْ مِنْ مَنِ أَخُذُ دِينَهُ That this knowledge is a deen. So be aware who you take your deen from. This knowledge is a deen. It's not about, we love the Muslims. We want khair for the Muslims. But there's some Muslims, they want to call to deviations. To misguidance. They want to call to their ways. Some Muslims, you see them mixing the truth with the falsehood. Promoting people falsehood. And it's dangerous. So I read. You know, my brother came to me, asked me about, yes, al qadi I said, brother, look. If I tell you my, what the scholar said about the Muslim of knowledge, you know, I said, Akhi, the best way, you self study and read. And by Allah's permission, when you study, and read the books of the Salaf and study, you will come to know who you should listen to, who should not. You see? And especially if you love them for Allah's sake. The Quran, the Sunnah, and the Salaf is the criteria. And uh, people say, there's many confusions. No, there's not many confusions because we don't study. That's why. When you study, everything becomes clear. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu left us upon the clear guidance. If you keep saying there is confusion, I cannot know who is following the truth, who is not. Either you're not studying, or you think Prophet Muhammad never made everything clear to us. Prophet made everything clear to us. Why is upon you and I to go back to the sources? And everything will become clear. So this is the books. Then you go levels, of course. Don't be like this donkey of Birmingham. Open a big books to layman. Naam. Open a book, book, like now, Fath al Bari. Fath al Bari is not for me to teach it and it's not for you to be taught it. Not because there's dodgy stuff, not because there is opinions. And you have to have a foundation to understand the teaching of Islam or those books, specifically those books. You cannot, like even in physics, even in biology, there's levels. You don't go with, you have even started the foundation, you start reading the books, uh, how to make an uh, operation in people's hearts, and you start trying to. Implement it, no. Step by step. See. As they say, Whoever 
uh, uh, abandon learning the principles and the foundation, they will be deprived from understanding or reaching the uh, or understanding the correct things. You know, Allah bless you, my brothers and sisters. Yes, uh, these are the books, and after you start moving to the next level, next level. Um, and bidillah, you can become a scholar, benefiting the people, benefiting yourself, and be one of the defenders of the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or a student of knowledge. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us ikhlas, give us sincerity. Wallahu uh, ta'ala, a'azu a'lam, wa sallallahu nabi na Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in, wa sallam sallam kathira, we have to stop here, it's half past nine. Na'am barakallahu fikum, subhanakallahu bihamdik, shadu an la ilaha illa anta, أستغفرك وأتوب إليك وصلى الله نبينا محمد على آله وصحبه أجمعين وسلم سليما كثيرا خلاص إن شاء الله interesting video there's not much that i can say he's just advising people on what books to read if they really want to understand islam which is very good what i like most about this video is the fact that he's referring people to books sometimes it's not all about about watching someone and listening sometimes you have to go to the books put in time you read for your, for yourself and make the judgments on your own or disagree to disagree with whatever you're reading always go back to the roots of something go back to the books books have so much knowledge that have to be shared with us and there's just plenty to learn from them otherwise i really don't have much to say make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe if you have something to say feel free to comment in the comment section below if there's something that you guys want us to react to let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to react to it i'll see you in my next reaction video